I've seen Helen compete quite a few times. I actually cornered her on uh, one of her matches at Grapple Fest. She does have a lot of experience, you know, again, on big shows, be it Grapple Fest or, or you know, some of the other big sub-only shows that she's done. But also, of course, on MMA, she, she was on the Ultimate Fighter 23. She's oh, fought excellent. on Bellator, Brave, you know, loads of, loads of, loads of. So I don't think that this show is going to, uh, is, is going to make her too nervous compared to some of the matches that she's already had. Rosie certainly much younger, but still incredibly experienced Experience. for a young age. Mm -hmm. I think I remember her like years and years ago, maybe training with her. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I I did a seminar at her gym, you know, many many years ago, and mm -hmm. she was already, you know, you could tell there's something about them that, you know, they're passionate about jujitsu, and yeah. you know, they just got the it factor, which she certainly does, and it's great to see her now having success in adult divisions. Right now in here, top psych, uh, top half guard here. That knee line is cleared, but it looks like Helen's trying to take control of a far side leg, maybe. She's got to be careful here. I mean, Helen's certainly thinking about <laughs> some legs, but Rosie doing a great job of using that cross face to block any, you, you know, when you're attacking those legs, you want to get your chest and your, and your upper body very, very close to what you're attacking. And Rosie's trying to stop her from doing that right now and does a great job in doing so. Ends up in a strong, uh, strong half guard position here with this left arm of Helen Harper forced across the body and crushed. Now in a better, p better position to uh, begin to attack from this half guard. Yeah, foot on the foot on the hip there from this half guard position and. You know, maybe maybe R Rosie and Mike look to maybe step a little bit outside of here. Helen's looking very, very comfortable in this half guard. And a lot of the time, for me personally, I don't like to engage. If someone if someone's good in half guard, I think, why are you good in half guard? <laughs> I don't think it's a good position. So if you're good at it, you, you know something <laughs> you that I really don't. So yeah. I prefer to come in with a, you know, a, a <laughs> combat base and force them to lock up higher up on the leg like this. And uh -huh. right now, Rosie's certainly looking to either pass directly to mount. But... You can see the way that Helen's coiling her body here. It's almost like she's ready for the guard pass. She's ready to make a big explosive movement, possibly a reversal round to the back position. She's still trying to vie in for that far side leg. And a sniff was sort of three-quarter mount there from Rosie, but guard retention from Helen, really, really nice. Helen's really brought her knees in together to stop Rosie uh, from getting that knee side. Yeah, Rosie got a, a head and arm control here, hands connected, which just gives you a, a great bit of control to pivot off of when you're trying to pass here. Three minutes in so far, and very much feeling a feeling out process. Helen now transitions to a butterfly guard. Much more my style. <laughs> Nicely done again. Helen just trying to find opportunity, but Rosie Clark looking very, very solid in this top position. Certainly in control. Oh, an Americana from underneath half guard here from Helen Harper. He's not really, not, didn't really have much control of the uh, wrist, but was just on the hand here. And Rosie may be able to go for a head and arm show right now. She's got that uh, hook in sight, though, um, Helen has. Yeah. And uh, that does mean that she'll be able to elevate at, you know, any point, really. Yeah, that's it. It's, it th that inside hook, that ability to sweep, and then just trying to get the the long locks of Rosie Clark out of her face there. Possible, you know, tools that can be used and distracted, maybe, mm -hmm. I don't know. And she's out. Yeah, Helen so far uh, doing a really good job of, you know, very much on the back foot, uh, but doing a good job of stopping Rosie's guard pass. And I wonder now whether Helen's gonna try and actually take top position. She felt, you know, four minutes uh, gone pretty much here. and. Yep, they're going to switch it up. It's Rosie's turn to, to play off of the back. She can lock her legs. Look at these triangles. I know, long legs. legs. I cannot do that. Oh, I can't <laughs> do that. I mean, we are talking about this earlier, that the, the only issue with this body lock position from inside closed guard is it, 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 it's very telling that there's no 
there's, it, it, it's a control position, mm -hmm. and you're trying to wear on the opponent, maybe get some internal pressure on those ribs and uh, possibly affect the breathing. If your legs are really long and you can do this without straining, then it's a really efficient position to keep those that closed guard. However, there's no real options for submissions from here because you need that mobility and that movement in the legs in order to switch to stuff like arm bars, triangles, or mapatas. So when someone takes a tight position like this, you are thinking, okay, well, this is more control, less submissions. And of course, we are looking for submissions. Halfway mm -hmm. through this match now, we've seen no submission attempts. So it's very much all to play for. Now, Pelham was to keep this, uh, slowly bring this pressure down towards the stomach, towards the hips. She might be able to uh, start to open Rosie's legs up. But if there's no pressure there, it's kind of um, difficult. The person will be able to maintain that closed guard really well. Yeah, especially with the, with the long legs of Rosie Clark. Mm -hmm. No problem there. It's all about standing and then using that space to try and put more pressure through the legs, like you said. And it looked like uh, Rosie took an underhook on her right-hand side under the legs of Helen. So I was thinking about going for a sweep here, but you know, Helen, very, very experienced, lots of MMA experience. You've got to think that base is going to be super strong. Yeah. I mean, right now, this is this is a. I mean, we're going to see a possibly a, a an angle change, mm. vying for an armbar here on the left side of. Helen Harper from Rosie Clark. Yeah, she is certainly trying to, to, to cut the angle. Helen has to be careful what she's doing with her body. You can pass the guard like this. You see that back pressure with the right arm mm. from Helen on the neck. And what this does is, I mean, look at the position that Rosie is in. Her head is touching her knee. Her legs are still <laughs> locked. And Helen's trying to put pressure towards her right-hand side in order to pop those legs open. Those legs pop open, then she's going to have the opportunity. And there, she's having to make adjustments. And even though the legs haven't popped open, the fact that she opened and changed angle and then closed mm. them back the same way, she is not comfortable in this position. Nope. Three minutes left now, and I think it's very much all to play for. You know, if we try and score this without any submission attempts as we've had, it's a tricky one. It's it, very tricky. It's very much been a match of two halves so far. We've had half of Rosie on top trying to pass guard and, and Helen defending, and then we've had a second half with Rosie in close guard with Helen trying to pressure here. I mean, this is a tough one. I would not be... A, I'm hoping that we get a little bit more action and maybe a submission attempt from one of these two girls. You know, it can look like when you're in this position that, that Helen's in, that she's just trying to stay heavy and, and, and she's kind of shutting uh, Rosie's position down. But, you know, she did have a legitimate guard pass attempt there with that, that pressure passing, mm -hmm. but the back pressure with the elbow. I think they've both had some, you know, pretty, uh, pretty good attempts at passing the guard so uh, yeah like you say it's it's, it's pretty hard, equal, isn't it, isn't yeah. it yeah rosie's still really trying to get some angle change in the hips to allow her to attack one of those arms but two minutes left and i mean all to play for right now i'd say helen you know with, with this far side uh well not even far side it's inside closed guard you know with this with this arm control that clamp from inside closed guard you know I'm not aware of any technique that can really be done from there. No. Vanessa, you know, secret technique? <laughs> submitting someone from inside their closed hey, I guard? I wouldn't tell you. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> that, that was my attempt. <laughs> so one minute 30 left of this match. And as we were saying, it's pretty equal. Yeah. The judges are really going to have a tough time getting to grips with this fight. I, I, I mean, for me personally, if I had to make a decision, I would say that... I you think know, Rosie's Ro Ro been more Well, Rosie's active. pressure was from a position where she was more likely to pass. Mm -hmm. Helen is pressuring in, pressure in here from inside the closed guard. Yeah. You know, she one of her arms is, is an overhook over it. Mm -hmm. There's no real... Like, she's just There's pressuring. No threat, she's yeah. not pressuring to open the guard. You know, this position here, this clamp on the shoulder. I yeah. mean, this could be massive now, a minute to go. And if Rosie can cut the angle there, turn I'm towards her side leg. and throw that leg over the head, then this Oof. could be, this is sort of the, the, the match. So the, the deciding. Match. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The deciding yeah. factor in this match, for sure. An American attempt from inside <laughs> the closed guard. I mean, you've got to give her pro some props for effort, but there's no way or very, very slim chance of that turning no. into anything realistic. 
Yeah, Helen here with a body lock position from inside that closed guard, and Rosie is doing everything in her power to try and get something going here. But the base of Helen and the tightness from Helen from inside that closed guard, it's, they've really neutralized oh. each other, trying to go for a sweep here. Not quite. I mean, this is a hard one to score. I've got to say, even off of a back, Rosie is working hard where Helen is sort of pressuring through a position instead of trying to get out of it. And there is the time, a really, really tough grinding battle there from uh, two great athletes. I don't know how this decision is going to go. I don't know. I would personally favor Rosie just because she was more, the I, more active competitor. Yeah, and I, I, I think so. I just feel that Helen, she had that aggressiveness, she had yeah. that pressure, but I just feel like it was it was from the wrong position there. So yeah, this is the early exactly. on. I mean, not really a takedown here. You know, uh, Helen looked very, very happy to take this position. I mean, could you class this as a submission attempt? I, I don't I know. Don't. I don't feel like... Let's, let's put it this way. I don't feel like Rosie had to defend that. No, In no. which case, I don't think you count it. You know, an angle yeah. change here, not deep enough to consider it a submission attempt. So I'd probably say... I feel yeah. like it was like just the style. Well, let's let the judges yeah. do what they do best and give us the official decision. Five judges' decision, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner is Rosie Clark!